A multiplication table is useful for many, many things. A nice trick is to use the table to find equivalent fractions. Here's how it's done. First of all, we select rows for the numerator and the denominator. In this case, row 3 is the numerator and row 4 is the denominator. By selecting different columns, we can determine different equivalent fractions. As you can see, 3 fourths is equal to 6 eighths, which is equal to 9 twelfths, and so on across the columns. Also, you don't have to pick rows next to each other in order for this to work. For example, select row 5 as a numerator and row 9 as the denominator. You'll see as you move across the columns the resulting equivalent fractions. 5 ninths is equal to 10 eighteenths and 15 twenty-sevenths and so on across the columns. But none of this means much without knowing why it works this way. The reason is mighty simple. Both the numerator and the denominator of the fraction are located in the very same column. This means that they are both multiplied by the same number. For example, let's look at 4 sevenths. An equivalent fraction would be 24 40 seconds. That's because both 24 and 42 are in the same column. Since the numerator 4 and the denominator 7 are both multiplied by 6 to get 24 40 seconds, that's the same as multiplying by the equivalent of 1. So remember, if you've got a multiplication table, you've got one mighty powerful tool. Uh-oh, well, looks like I'm about out of time.